And that's how I remove my onion. You've told that story a thousand times. Now get me some cranberry juice. I'm harsh. I did not fart. Doris, why do you always invite your deaf friends over? I'm not dead, you old bum, but I will be soon if you don't turn on this air. The air is on, and so is the fan. Why don't we open a window? Be my guest. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Dr. Phil says this fresh air is good for my arthritis. You don't even have arthritis. And who cares about the temperature? I felt fine before. <laughs> Temperature is just a number that those scientific people made up. Temperature is actually a measure of how cold or hot something is. Specifically a measure of average kinetic energy of the particle of an object. So if there's more kinetic energy in an object, the temperature is higher? Yes, Doris. Like we're not boiled water for You this. never boil anything, you old... What? When you boil water for tea, <laughs> the energy of the particles is greater than when the water is warm or cold, right? Yeah, that's so right. Those particles move faster than Mary Lou and her hover round. <laughs> Different measurements of temperature. For instance, on the Celsius scale, water boils at 100 degrees, the body temperature is 20 degrees, and room temperature is 20. This is a topic. Yeah, I'm just go. Just it in anyway. And water freezes at zero degrees. But I was taught that 32 degrees was the freeze. Shut part. up, you old hag! You don't even. <laughs> You don't know what you were taught in the dinosaur ages? Actually, you didn't even make breakfast this morning. You can shut your... Y'all be shut! <laughs> now, Doris, Frank is right. On the Fahrenheit scale, water freezes at 32 degrees. There's also a Kelvin scale, but I'm going to miss my taxi if we keep on doing this. It's okay. That's covered on our window panes. I'm not exactly sure why. But there's lots of other stuff to know. Like what? We can start with conduction. Conduction? Conduction. Imagine <clears throat> you're putting a cold spoon in a hot bowl of chicken noodle soup. Can it be tomato? <laughs> tomato soup. Soon the handle of the spoon will begin to warm up even if it's not soup. Even if it's not in the soup, this is because the spoon is a conductor. So, it's thermal conduction? Yes, which means the transfer of thermal energy from one substance to another through direct contact. But how does that work? What happens with the little particles? When two objects touch, the particles collide. Thermal energy is transferred from that higher temperature object to the lower temperature object, thus warming the lower temperature object. But doesn't that happen with everything? No, there, there are conductors and insulators. Insulators don't transfer thermal energy. One example is a flannel shirt. I wear those. <laughs> and oven mitts. And ceramic bowls. <laughs> Good job. Now, do y'all know some conductors? Curling iron! Iron skillet. Good job. Now let's head to convection. Convection is the transfer of thermal energy by circulation or movement of liquid or gas. You're like one of them encyclopedias. Encyclopedia, stupid! Well, I was the top of my class back in the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you boil water, the heat from the stove causes the water to heat up. As the particle becomes less dense, the water begins moving as swiftly in circles. The water near the top begins to cool and becomes dense. It then falls to the bottom of the pot and starts over. That makes sense. Good! Now get in the kitchen and do something for once. 
Don't snap at me, woman. Y'all need to calm down. We're almost done. The next thing is heat. And heat is the energy transferred through objects that are different temperatures. And also remember, heat is not the same thing as temperature. Mm -hmm. Now for the last thing, radiation. Ready, who now? Radiation is the transfer of energy as electromagnetic waves. Un unlike conduction and convection, radiation can be transferred through particles or through empty space. All objects radiate electromagnetic waves. The sun emits visible light, which you can see, and waves of other frequencies, which you cannot see. Don't sass me. Like infrared light. When your body absorbs infrared waves, you feel warmer. Now that's not true. Waves are only in the ocean. They didn't teach me all this witchcraft voodoo in grade school. Where did you go to school? Everything travels in waves, Frank. Even I know that. But what are waves? What are the different types? Well, there are. Here we go again. <laughs>